uh, welcome back to our um, ongoing office 365 series um the last video that we made was about uh, the password right back um ad connected password right back not working um if you want to see the full steps all the troubleshooting trial and error that i've been through you should see this video it's very informative but it's 30 minutes i don't know if you want to know uh see that or not so i'm just gonna go with the short version of uh, what i found and it worked or not um so basically let's go to the admin center um let me so this is the admin center and you see azure AD, ad connect hasn't been run for three days i was sick um it's been three weeks since i made any video um basically it, it was pretty bad um so i cannot make any videos but um now i wanted to be done by christmas uh, on this whole office 365 series um but you plan something and then almighty plans entirely so different um so uh, we are in the admin center here uh you can see so uh, it's a good thing like um in this video you can see after even after i'm logging in three weeks it's showing me everything around everything's look healthy all that so it's giving me all the prompts uh let's go to our users uh users here so i'm going to show you the users here i remember creating the password i now i have to change it back so basically um password right back means that uh, if you change any user's password here is it going to be changed on your local active directory or not um where is let me run the like um on your server so there are two things yes it can be done like if you change a uh, user password on your azure ad uh, it will be changed uh, uh, the password will be right back written back to your local active directory uh with with some minor restriction the first thing is you if if you change a user's password in microsoft office 365 it will not work for it to be work you have to go to the um like you, you can change the password here and um, like if i want to change the ali's password uh, through here i can i believe this is the password yep so you can change the password but this password is not going to be written back ali will be using this password to log into office 365 but it will not be written back to the local active directory uh so that's the number one restriction the other one is that you have to actually go to azure active directory by clicking here like i did uh you have to click the azure active directory you have you're gonna see all the users there like all these users you see these they will be here as well uh they are right here but i can click on users and there they are so you have to change the password in act azure active directory in this on the screen the other restriction that's the final one is that you have uh, have to have an e3 or greater license uh, of office 365 mine is just business so if i try to um change a user's password um let's say i remember i was either working with bill or obama Let's go with the uh, bell and you know you can reset password so <coughs> I'm sorry my um, uh, uh, throat is still so you see unfortunately the current licensing does not allow you to reset this user's password license command for password right back that's the thing so over here it will tell you password right back you have to either get the azure id premium p1 p2 or you have to the 
e5 a5 uh, this is right here you have to get the microsoft uh, 365 at least e3 license or above i do have the business one i have the business one so technically it should work i think i might have to call them or <coughs> so i think it should work but i don't know um i have the business anyway so this is the restriction like you have to do it from here and you can reset the password password reset right here so I think uh, well according to that page uh, for office 365 it should work um, but let's uh, look at that one more time my um what i'm thinking is before signing up for office 365 i signed up for uh, uh, office home and when i went to log in to see if i have office um home or not i wanted to cancel it i could not see so i think there's a conflict and i can call them up and see uh, maybe that's the reason so I ju just have this hunch otherwise uh, since it's listed here it should work but if not then e3 it makes sense because e3 is for like a for bigger corporation they have like um, multiple locations or uh, you know a massive um, a number of users not just like 25 or 50 that's pretty much manageable you can do it all but uh, like you can manage everything locally but if that's not the case this is the only restriction uh, you should keep in mind while using with the office 365 I'm gonna try to go and see and again uh, you have to run that Azure AD connect uh, to get the password right back uh, if this video helped you uh, in any way sh consider um, subscribing please rate comment and share and you have a good night